Hey y'all, welcome to this video. Uh, I'm just recording this as I see it, so I'm not gonna, you know, say anything else than just comes to my mind and, and what I see, but essentially what this video is for is to help you guys decrease your acquisition cost and also make your acquisition profitable for any online brands out there, uh, maybe even brick and mortar brands that have an online side, um, any, you know, media buyer, any uh, CMO, uh, e-commerce manager uh, this this is definitely gonna be relevant for you so yeah let's get into it I'll just uh, break everything down and yeah also for some context this is a brand that we just started with I think around like 20 days or something so these are uh, for now like the ad sets that we've tested we have a couple more campaigns but this is the one where we really go into the creative testing and then also the landing page testing uh, and that's really what this video is gonna be about uh, the things that made it work were the offer so we put an offer in place we put a landing page in place and then connected that to the creative which um is this ad set like this is the ad set that really now is bringing all the result and just for context just let's scroll down the second highest one is a 4.4 which by the way is a copy of this one so anything else we were you know around like a 2x let's say 2x sometimes two and a half x return on ad spend and then I'm not going to go there now, but if you go to the other campaigns for this month and for other months, average return ad spend was between 1.5 and 2.3 around there. So this really is a big jump. Hence why I'm making this video, because this really can make a big difference for a ton of you guys. So, yeah, that's, you know, uh, I just wanted to show it uh, right when I saw it. I just opened the account and I'm like, OK, this that's worthy of a video. And then also I'll just show you real quick. Uh, based on like just a, what our structure is internally and, and just what we do with our with the brands that we work with um, why that why it's working like just uh, the segments why it's working which in this case really is this part like the cold friendly offer part so you know something that increases perceived value sets the frame of the prospect like you know where the customer is at right now um, or like sets a frame of also what we're going to do for them then like we highlight their current state, future state, and we build trust, social proof, and scarcity with the offer. And then we show that offer on a landing page. And there, I mean, we, we put here, like we choose a winner framework because we have a couple of frameworks that we know work, but you can just go out, go to like ads library, take a look at what the rest is doing and just, you know, you can ba basically just, I mean, not copy it, but take some inspiration from some other landing pages and just, you know, have it, translate to what you guys are doing internally um what i put here is a combined foundations plus offer so that would be the offer is the thing that we have here and then foundations is really these things so having very clear what the usps are of your brand um going deeper on product product market fit so who are we talking to you know and what are you know what opportunity or transformation are we offering to that market um and then defining the biggest sales assets really simply that's like just you know, do you have a ton of reviews? Do you have mentions in certain PR articles? Do you have, let's say like just ammunition to sell. So like pieces of information that could really have someone buy from you. And then improving market resonance uh, could just be about having a narrative that helps you sell. That's it, nothing crazy. Let me take a, well, I wasn't gonna say, let me take a sip of water, but I don't have water anymore. So uh, we'll just continue. But um, yeah, so you combine the foundations, you put that with the offer, you combine those two things. And then what you do is you just show that off on a landing page where, once again, you show the sales assets, sell the frame, set, uh, tell the current state, future state, and then have a call to action with the offer. That's what we're doing here. So in the ad set that I was just showing in this one, the one that's really working. And as you can see, we tried a ton of other things that were not nearly as um, successful. You can see like, yeah, we tested with Cosper result, uh, you know, certain placements for these guys just to test if it worked. Like here you can see homepage. Uh, we tested a couple of different product pages as well. Uh, and then here really we have a landing page with an offer with the right messaging and having that message as well and showing that offer as well in the creatives, which also here you can see, well, I mean, yeah, nothing too crazy to go into here, but just having the creative that shows the offer shows and communicates the right message to the right audience, then having a cold friendly offer on that landing page. And that's really what makes this work. And in general, what makes customer acquisition more profitable, what makes customer acquisition 
more scalable, any of the fancy words you want to mention, but it's really true because simply what it does is it makes someone more enticed to buy. That's one thing. And it just creates a reason to, to buy. Because if, you know, if you just have a nice picture to, to the website, like why would someone buy it that day? Like they can wait for, I don't know, how many weeks or months before they buy because there's nothing special about that moment. There's nothing special for them to say, hey, today's the day, I got to act now. Um, more so also, like there's not, if, you know, if the messaging is not correct, like there's no, people don't feel called to, to, to buy, right? Like your brand would have to be already at a very good place for you to be able to, to acquire customers without having, you know, deep research on, okay, who are we selling to? What, what type of offer do they need? And in terms of offer, it could also be like adding, a video course, which we've done with certain brands, like adding a video course on how to use the product or um, like even, I don't know, like certain PDFs or whatever, like you can add many things in the offer. It doesn't need to be uh, just like discounted price. There's many ways to do that, which, yeah, you can you can figure out for yourself like what a good offer is and, you know, just some logical thinking would, would get you there because you, you know what, what your customers want. You could even ask them or you could look at the reviews and see like, hey, this is what I really appreciated to so get maybe do more of that. But um, really simply, guys, that's really all. Uh, just saw the results come in. I was like, let me make a video on this. And for anyone out there that is running ads, is busy uh, acquiring customers for their online brand, uh, having a cold friendly offer, having the foundations in place, which I just went over, um, showing that all on a landing page and really, you know, doing a bit of like, not a bit actually, doing a ton of research on what your customers want to see, what your customers want as an offer, just so that everything is relevant and having then also the creatives, the ad creatives be on point with all the rest. Um, yeah, you, you, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Try it out, um, you'll see the difference. And then if you can uh, leave me a comment when you've tried it all, uh, just so I know that it worked, that'd be amazing. All right guys, have a good one.